Greetings ladies and gents, Mr. T-Rex here. We're playing more Railroads Online and today I am going to show you the revamp section of the logging camp. So today I think we will take Blue Comet. Uh, we haven't taken any of the new locomotives out except for Twitsy and the new engines over there, which I have forgotten the name of, which I do apologize. But uh, I basically got the 10 mile and turned it blue and gave it the number 832 with the name the Blue Comet. And I basically named all of my engine company on the trains the Puffing Billing Railway, so that way it matches the other locomotives. So what we're going to do is hop in here and basically fill this up. Alright, now to break off, bring this out a bit. Cylinder clocks. Breaks. And I think what we'll do is um, we'll take the new log cars, once I only hold five. <clears throat> oh god damn it, the, this is really annoying. I hope they do fix this because the turntable keeps constantly moving. Like as soon as you like, there needs to be some sort of way to lock the transform in place. Like a little lever of some sort on the side of of this here, which stops it from moving. Because is if you can see right here, inch by inch it is moving. So. They need some sort of locking mechanism that stops it. Alright. So, release the brakes, put the cylinder clocks on, and off we go. So I do believe we need to go to the very back of the yard. And we are not set for the switch there, so we're going to apply the brakes. And we will set this. I am really curious though if they are going to put in the functionality of this being auto switched when you come near it to stop people from de derailing. But to be honest, I like having to get out and set the actual thing. all the way at the back. So as you can see here, I've actually did some refinement to this section. I have actually made a separate line for trains to come through, which is on the right of the screen. So no trains should be cutting through into the yard to actually... Oh, we have logging cars there that are full. Ooh. Okay. 
maybe I'll just show off the new section without the cars. Because I know for a fact that Tamar will not be able to toll 18 of those logging, logging cars. I think what I'll do is just show you guys the new section of the logging camp without anything being hauled because yeah I forgot that um, the, the logs were already uh, put on those cars. So there is two switches there and two switches at the back there so you are not basically restricted from going into either lane. Then what I've done is I have kept this side of the switch. So basically if you want to be on this side and go through on the right side there you need to um, change on that switch that I showed you back there. And then it slowly merges into two switches. Like so. Then we will apply the brakes and do our appropriate switching. Because I do not want to go that way. I did also... Um, put in a triple switch over at the um, at the at the logging camp ah oh, no the sawmill sorry I keep getting the logging camp and the sawmill mixed up So everything here is 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 the same. I I'm not touching the sawmill. The sawmill is 100% done. So it's exactly how I want the sawmill to be. Um, I did do a bit of a refinement on the sawmill on this section here. Basically on this section here. So I connected this all back up, I refined this whole entire line section here, and the reason why I did that was because when I wanted to take any of the uh, lumber and beams to the, um, I think it's the smelter, let me have a look, it's been a while. Yeah, the smelter. Um, I had to do a loop all the way around. And I'm like thinking to myself, the smelter route is already long as it is. And the time to travel was way too long. So I basically put that switch there and it cut it in half. So it gives the person a option of actually looping through here as well. If they come through that line there, come straight through, then they can take that switch there. And then if the train for the logging camp comes through here, then they have to go around this way. But if the train is not there, they can take this line here and do an, an, an actual loop around to the logging camp. So I did actually set this up that you can take multiple directions with this um, with this smelt uh, with this um, sawmill, and that switch is oh, it's made life so much easier instead of having the loop around. All right, let's continue. So. The log, uh, the logging camp has had a major overhaul. It is not the same from 
when I first did the section, when the game was released in early access. Um, the reason why I did that was because smaller trains, if they came from the opposite direction going up towards the bridge area, were having issues loading. So I did a plain, plain level. Ah yes, I moved the switches. The switches used to be here. I moved them further up. So that way any trains that do have to wait, they have enough, they have basically have enough room for the line. For other trains that just bypass them. Apart from that, this section here is all the same. Considering putting a switch at the bottom there, so we'll have to see. Because I'm wanting to have another line go out towards the left. So this is the section coming up that's had a major overhaul. So basically, just where the turn starts after the switches is where everything has been changed. So the line no longer has four, you know, four lines going out, going in the turn. I decided to do it this way, where it just gradually has a nice smooth turn. Then you will come up to two sets of switches. I basically did similar to how I did the yard on the opposite end. So you'll come to two sets of switches here. And then you will have another line going out. Which is towards the logging camp. then from there you'll have two switches so you can choose either way which direction you want to go. You can either choose to enter from the left side or the right side. Bear in mind if you do take the right side the middle leads to the actual logs, the right side leads to the, uh, the, the, the course wood. And this is how I basically set it up. So this can hold. 20 cars. I tested this the other day. Anything more than that, it'll go past the switch. So what I've done is just a massive loop. I know for a fact this will make nuclear happy because I literally just cut, like, took away the, the massive, massive bridge. And I've basically done the same thing that I did towards the smelter. So I've got, we've got an actual dedicated line that passes straight through. And then when you come around here, takes you straight to the loading areas. <clears throat> and this is all even, all even terrain, all even um, track laying, so even the weakest locomotives will be able to load on load the um the logs
All right, now we're going to show you the part that I also revamped. And the best thing too is if they've gone the wrong way, they can use the triangle the triangle junction to do a UE. So that, that's the other reason why I did this. And this is all 2%. I do believe some sections are actually 1% as well, along with 0% gradient, because there were some sections that were so, like, weird with the terrain. But as you can see, all nice laid track going towards the logging camp. To be honest, I should have done it this way from day one, but I was so tired of doing this section because I literally did this section like the logging camp all the way to the depot with the original tool set. Okay, so need to basically upgrade. So That's basically what I've done so far. Um, I am doing tweaks and minor adjustments towards the line as we go. That's what I've done for the layout so far. I hope you enjoyed this little segment of me showing you the refined parts. And until then, my name is Mr. T-Rex and I'll catch you all later.